very very good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to Manila to the Philippines I finally made it to my way to this country and we've been traveling for the last 20 hours and I had my longest flight in a while and I had a flight actually from Doha from Qatar which took me around eight to nine hours to arrive to Manila and since I started doing YouTube I haven't actually made such a long trip in a plane it was a little bit challenging but uh, we made it because I had an exciting place to go and uh, I'm very very happy to be here in the Philippines which I wanted to come for a very long time but with my passport I am from Azerbaijan originally and uh, with my passport it's very hard to get a visa and you have to apply for it you have to wait for it so which I did last year I went to Dubai waited there for two weeks for my visa to get approved and yeah now I have visa now I am in the country so back to the Southeast Asia which I am very excited to explore Manila and show you as well beautiful sides of the country and right now I'm in an area called Makati which is actually very super modern buildings and uh, streets I think there are lots of uh, business places here this is actually a shopping mall called Century City Mall and I came actually from the other side and it looks quite modern and nice lots of street food lots of uh, different shops there's a barber place there's a convenience store on the right side and uh, I think behind this is actually the Trump Tower as well so yeah I chose a very nice spot to start my exploration first impressions which is uh, actually amazing first of all starting from the airport people being super super nice passport control only a few questions and then they let me into the country and uh, I got a sim card which was an easy process I got a taxi I got a grab actually and came to my location so we're gonna do the check-in later on because it's super early right now it's around 10 a.m. but I arrived to the country around 7 a.m. so I think this is the this might be the Trump Tower or maybe behind it I'm not sure if the filming is allowed so we're not gonna go there but first thing I noticed that it's very hot I came even with the um, this shirt but still it's quite warm here and uh, the weather is a little bit humid but it's basically the best time to explore Philippines uh, during this three four months when it's actually dry season afterwards the rain starts and then it might not be suitable for tourists check this out we have some street vendors here selling some uh, fresh fruits on the left side and uh, there's a 7-eleven shop it's quite a cool area I really like it I think for the first impressions that's a type of a place you want to arrive where you have the convenience of everything to explore and see oh we also have the coconut man there maybe we get some coconut or let's see what the ladies are selling and then or lady and the gentleman if not we get a coconut hello hi what are you selling beef pares beef pares yes. okay it's a rice dish yes. okay so it's rice with beef yeah. okay okay do you like um yeah maybe a small one small but one. very small please thank you it's a famous food yes okay <laughs> thank you so we have the rice base and then he's gonna add some some meat ah uh, yeah it, this is beef yeah yeah it's okay beef. perfect hi green video on call Yes, making video. <laughs> yeah. Is it okay? It's okay. Thank you. It's a Paris. Paris? Paris? What do you Paris. say? Beef Paris. Beef Paris. Yes. Amazing. Beef to beef. Like to Beautiful. Eat. Thank you. And uh, how do you eat this? You mix things? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Today is my first day. I know nothing about Filipino food, so you have to teach me. It's a famous Filipino food. Yeah, it's famous? All right. We get some spices on top. Nice, and then mix it and then eat with the rice. Perfect. Uh, I think we have a 
I'm not sure what is this, but fat. is the fat? Yes. It's a bit fat. So we have the fat here, and then little pieces of uh, beef as well. Some herbs on top, some spices, and you mix it with the rice. I can put it on no, the no, top. No. no. How do I eat it? Learning how to eat first Filipino food. I put this here? Yes. Yes? Okay. Like this. I like that. Alright, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> and then we're gonna try it out. Your vlog? Yes, I make uh, videos for YouTube. Hi. This is my first vlog uh, from Philippines. Davut. Davut Akunzada, it's my name. <laughs> <coughs> What's your D name? D A V U D. D A D A V U D. Yes. D A V. -U -D. No V U D. V U D. Yeah, first one. That's one. Yeah, you are the first Filipina ah, subscribing to me in Philippines yes. while I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I have many Filipina followers on YouTube and other platforms as well, but the gentleman is the first one subscribing right away while I am in Philippines in my first few hours. All right, let's try this food out. This is what we have, rice, some meat, and then we're gonna go for a big bite. Mm. It's nice. Very good. But the meat is, meat is a little bit chewy. I need to chew it a lot. It's right, delicious. Let's try out uh, some more fat here. That might be the best part of it. Trying out with the fat, meat, some herbs. There's a spice on the top. And I mix with the rice. Mm. Delicious. What is this uh, building? This is Trump Tower Cent or no? No, no, no. Century Mall. Century Mall. And this is Trump, Trump, Trump Tower? Trump Tower. Trump Tower. All right. This way. All right. What's your name? My name is Ren Ren. Ren Ren. Ren Ren. Yes. Ren Ren. Very Ren nice Ren. name. Thank you. All right. We're going to finish our food, guys. And then later on, we need to pay to the gentleman. I haven't asked what's the price. But it's very delicious. But the only thing is that this beef is a little bit more chewy. It takes some time to chew it and eat it. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be. But first meal in Philippines at 10 a.m. trying some heavy food. Mm. And how much is this food? 55 pesos. 50? 55 pesos. 55 pesos. Yes. All right. That should be around uh, one dollar. Let's check out the Filipino pesos. So it's exactly actually one dollar ninety nine cents. So that's what we're gonna pay basically. One dollar for a street food at 10 a.m. on the streets of Makati region. This is Makati, yeah? Yes, Makati. It's an expensive area. Makati. Yes, expensive. rich, rich area. No. No. Where is the richest area in Manila? No Makati? Hmm? I know Quezon City. Maybe Port area? No? But it's nice here. Lots of nice buildings. It's very clean and very beautiful. Amazing. Alright, let's pay the gentleman and finish the food. Then we're gonna go. Let me see what I have here. There is a hundred pesos. pesos. Thank you. You will give me coins? I want to see how the Filipino pesos coins are looking like. Meanwhile, look like me. I look like you? Yeah, the coins. Ah, coins look like you. <laughs> you look as a Filipino character. White, red for white. Ah, he Hello. looks like him. Oh, look show me, that. show me. That's me. 
Ah, this is you at yeah. one. Yeah, ah, like wait, wait, wait. Yes, perfect. You look like. <laughs> That's only one peso. Huh? Yeah, your your hair is nice. Friend, I don't like ten peso. I don't like case. twenty. I like okay. one peso. Why? You Thank have you. Five pesos. Ah, uh, no, no, it's okay. You can no. you can keep it. You keep it, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. About me, my friend. <laughs> Huh? No tip for my dishes. I like one peso only. You like one peso? I don't I have don't one like peso. 20. Hmm? I don't I like 20 that. peso put my, my head. No? I like one peso because no. why? Many Filipino poor. That's okay. only one peso always handled. Ah, okay. Very hard to handle 20. That's why. So it's easy to handle ah, one. Yes. Yeah, okay. You know? Very nice, very you nice. Know, one peso. You eat food? Huh? You eat food? Later. Later. You can give him some free yes. food maybe. <laughs> you just pay for me? Huh? You pay for me? Yeah, yeah. I paid for you, no problem. Yes, yeah. yes. You can give him food? Oh, no. okay. Sorry, okay. later. Yeah, yeah, later? Yeah. Okay. Should I give you more? Or yeah, from? 55. 55, all right. But you have a change for me? 50 only, sir. 50 only. Yeah, but... Where are you from, sir? Okay, give me a... Uh, Take this. Give me, give me fifty. So your change is no, no, no. Give me the hundred back. Hundred back. Oh. Okay. Uh, you can, you can uh, feed some people. Maybe two, three people. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. After me, if someone come needs food, you yes. can give them food. All right. Thank you. They need food. Yes. Yeah, you can. No problem. Yeah, free food. Come. <laughs> All right. No, food for you too. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I need to finish my food, guys. Let's add more fat into this. Amazing. And one more bite. Thank you, sir. No problem. Hello. Hello. Good morning. So everyone, everyone eats here. Yes. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna finish my food, and I'm gonna go for further explorations. Hi, Black. Welcome to my guys. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Filipino people are very, very kind. From the first hours, everyone being super nice, super approachable, and very, very kind. Thank you, guys. The name of the food we ate was called beef pares. I guess there is a chicken pares too. I'm not so sure, but it was quite tasty, except the beef was a little bit chewy. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be, but it was hard to chew and then digest. But maybe chicken one would be a little bit better. That was my first Filipino food for $1 on the street which was quite nice and uh, but I have a list of food I have to try here it's adobo lumpia sinigang let me know guys if there are any other food I have to try and what are the top ones I shouldn't skip for sure while I'm here in the Philippines and uh, along with seeing the kindness and the friendliness of the people in the first few hours in Malina in Philippines you can also notice how crazy are, are the wire systems here I think that's a common practice in most of the Asian countries the wire systems are quite crazy but uh, I believe this one's gonna be like telephone lines and uh, probably not the electricity electricity should be that one on the top and then the down ones probably telephone lines that's why they look that crazy there are lots of nice and beautiful hotels around here and uh, later on i'm gonna show you also where i stay quite nice area and uh, lots of fast foods restaurants hotels and uh, i see already fancy rooftops as well let's uh, have some coconut maybe hello hello hi Can I, how much is the coconut 50? Yes. Okay, I will have one please. Drink now? Yeah, I drink now. Yes, thank you so much. Alright, it's gonna be my first coconut for this year. And the cutting skills are always unique in this 
places everyone has their own style also depends on the coconut this one is the green coconut thank you so much yes please thank you what's your name yay i take yay yay your name yay 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 no <laughs> my name is Davut nice to meet you thank you do you have a change for me thank you so first coconut in Philippines thank you I take my money thank you so much bye bye good luck thank you thank you, thank you. salamat salamat all right we got the coconuts and the views of the city let's try this out guys the straw is so long mm. super refreshing that's perfect in the morning guys also after having a little meal on the street having a filipino coconut enjoying the city getting the first great impressions of the beautiful manila and uh, i cannot wait to explore more areas but this area is also gonna be probably my favorite look at this all these buildings how close they are to each other and all of them has their unique style as well like none of them looks like each other all of them has like different architecture and uh, here you find lots of uh, different fast food places this is a pizza corner on the right side we have a kebabs and uh, this is Taiwanese cuisine and then there is also jalebi which I have to try even before I came to Philippines everyone was talking about jalebi and then I came here I can see every street almost has a jalebi jalebi is basically local fast food chain in philippines and uh, they do basically fried chicken they even have a pasta and uh, they do burgers so something like similar to kfc concept but a local uh, brand and i have to try that out too right now i am super full after the meal and also having some uh, drink so we're gonna keep it for maybe separate full video from uh, Jellyby. it's gonna be actually in front of us right now so i can actually show you and on the left side we have the andoks i think this is an as a chicken place and then on the right side you can see the logo of the Jollibee. so yeah i'm i'm definitely not gonna stay hungry while I'm in this city or in general in Philippines I can see lots of uh, different food chains and different options which you can enjoy all right I'm gonna finish my drink later I'm gonna make my way to the hotel I will show you where I stay and show you the whole process as well see you in a while I just had a quick coffee in the Starbucks and my views are amazing to the fountain in a distance and we have all the buildings this is actually the Trump Tower on the left side City Garden Grand Hotel and a few other different buildings here but most of them are hotels and business centers I believe and this one where I'm sitting right now it's called Pacific Start Building and my hotel is actually just on the opposite side of the road Meanwhile, I was sitting here, I have two questions. First one, I am filming right now with a wide angle. As you can see, you can see a little bit bigger and it's kind of the edges are curved. Do you like this type of uh, style or do you want to go back to the linear? Because this is the first time I'm filming like this. So I would love to know your opinion. What do you think? If should I keep doing the wide angle? To capture more things behind me and in front of me as well or we just keep with the linear option and the second question is that I've been researching 
what's the population of Manila and uh, on the internet I found around 15 million people uh, as of 2023 but my taxi driver told me around 30 million so I'm curious what's the right number of course it will not be very specific but uh, between 15 and 30 million it's uh, double the number so it will be interesting to know what's the right number if you have any information let me know guys okay now we're gonna go I think it's gonna be time for us to check in to our hotel room there's a nice fountain here and beautiful Filipino flag and also some other flags of the countries here Japan I can see UK Canada all the big countries and my hotel is just on the other side so quite a central location I think I chose like surrounded by McDonald's, KFC and Starbucks where I was a while ago not sure if you can cross from here we'll try these are the Jeep GPs I think that's the name this is uh, basically the local transportation you can actually hop on behind it and then travel around which we might do later on probably not the right way to cross but I'm not the only one so it should be okay a real Asian way to cross the streets yeah these are the GPs they look so cool these are the originally from America we've been here during the war time and then later on they made it a little bit longer more like carriage and then now it's used for uh, public transportation and I think for very cheap price you can get around the city quite easily and uh, probably I'm gonna go for a ride as well at some point while we are here in this beautiful city and this is the hotel where I stay which is called the Bellamy house and uh, first I will try to get the permission if I can film and then afterwards we're gonna capture the whole experience just in front of me there's actually street food here I think they do sell something here so if you are hungry during the afternoon night you can just come for a food let's cross the street one more time yeah that's where we stay guys the Bellamy house I'm gonna go downstairs and check into our hotel they even have a little corner here where they make a coffee and they do have some snacks which is uh, really cool hello thank you so much thank you right here we are this is our beautiful hotel lobby and we're gonna go upstairs brother i can have my luggage thank you oh yes i give you my card do you have a trash bin no thank you so much they gave me a tag so i need to give it to back to them okay i'm gonna see you probably in the room guys all right we are proceeding to our room it should be somewhere here 316 we have to go to the left so we'll go to the left side 316 it's the last door on the left side let's check out our room I booked I think quite a nice room let's uh, have a look and see oh, the door doesn't let me in ooh nice it's a little smaller than I have expected but uh, quite a nice room let me open the curtains so we allow a little bit extra light into our room and I can show you the rest of it how it looks like so 
this trip is a uh, very unique for me and uh, because first reason is that we are in Philippines and I'm gonna enjoy the country in the next few weeks but another reason is that I try to fit in all my life into this little luggage so this is actually carry-on luggage and all my life is just inside right now it's around 12 kilos when I take my laptop out it can be down to around 10 kilo so basically I have 12 kilo with me carrying and I'm gonna travel Philippines and try out to see how I'm gonna enjoy the country with less stuff and also it will be much easier to hop on to the flights and go to different parts of the Philippines as you know Philippines are mostly our islands and they are separated you have to travel with bus or plane so to make it easier probably I'm gonna take a plane most of the time but probably we're gonna try out some bus experiences as well so that's uh, another thing why this trip is a little bit more unique than other ones Back to the room, we have air conditioning right here. As soon as you enter on the left side, you're gonna find the toilet. Is this the light? No, probably it's inside, there will be light. Beautiful. So as soon as you enter, you have a nice uh, sink on the right side. We have a big mirror in front of us. We have a toilet on one corner. There's the area for the towels and just behind the door you can find the shower area and we have actually a rain shower head, we also have the handle and uh, it comes with the basics, shower gel, we have a conditioner, uh, conditioning shampoo, very nice, I think uh, quite big area for one person but even for two people it can be fine. This one actually takes my attention, like it looks uh, very dirty, but I think just because they left these things here, that it left some color on the, on the sink here. So it's not dirty, it's just the color that doesn't go away anymore. And they also included some dental kit here, shower cap, these are all basics, and as well as the hair dryer here. Let's check out the room itself. We have a double bed. This is this room is actually called uh, Queen Studio. It's not really studio to me. It's just a basic hotel room, but that's the name of the the category. And uh, we are paying 50 American dollars to stay here per night, and I'm gonna spend around three nights in this hotel room. And it will be much easier for me to go around and come back to some comfort. I see the air conditioning is working well. You can also open the windows if you like. And this is our views to the outside. I think for the $50, considering this beautiful views to the buildings, to the city, quite nice. And I think this is gonna be some residence on, on the downside here. But uh, further views to the buildings, quite beautiful. This is the Trump building just in front of us. It's the highest, I believe, around these buildings, as long as I can see. I'm not sure if it's the highest here in that area, but uh, it looks like the highest right now was with the visibility we have right now. And uh, yeah, in front of the double bed, the king bed, this might be actually queen size. Queen size is a little bit smaller so maybe this is a queen bed since the room name is uh, queen uh, studio in front of it there's a tv and it comes with some extras this is gonna be paid extra so if you want to get a snack during the night during the morning you can make some tea for yourself quite nice and there's an area where i'm gonna uh, open up my luggage and this is the area where I'm gonna work there's actually another mirror just in front of us so this is basically the room tour for you guys let me know what you think and uh, if you would stay here for 50 American dollars for me looks nice and uh, the people at the reception are very kind as well for the price for the views I think it's a reasonable option uh, to stay here all right I will see you in the more footage from this beautiful city 
So I'm gonna take a good rest because I've been traveling for almost one day right now and I didn't sleep properly in the plane. So I'm gonna take my time to take some rest and then whenever I wake up, we're gonna go explore. Thank you so much for watching until this moment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you so much for all the support. See you next time, guys. Very, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2 p.m. and my day is just getting started and I want to show you the hotel roof pool which is actually amazing and it's one of the features that comes with the hotel. I'm paying 50 American dollars per night and it comes with beautiful room which was very comfortable, I slept really well and uh, this is one of the things you want to have when you arrive to the new country to make sure you're comfortable, you have a good sleep, you get good rest because after almost 20 hours uh, flight uh, all together with the airport time and then when you left the house and the flights so it's very very important when you arrive to somewhere new make sure you have a nice hotel room where you stay you get uh, comfortable sleep and also get a good rest so that's why I paid $50 per night I'm staying three nights here and it comes with this beautiful views to the skyscrapers around us so you have 360 views uh, most of it is captured by the gigantic buildings around us and right now I have the whole uh, rooftop pool to myself and I want to share the views with you guys as you can see it looks incredible check this out guys how amazing is this it's a little bit cloudy day today so that's maybe the reason why nobody's actually hanging around here but uh, during the evening uh, I was here and I saw some people so maybe after people uh, travel and then explore the city they come here to rest and chill so these are the views guys for you as you can see we are all surrounded with, with this beautiful views uh, and one of the things you notice that how green is the city of course uh, there are more skyscrapers than the trees probably right now here but still this uh, tree zone actually left out but most of the city is actually more buildings and uh, concrete jungle but this is the normal experience when you go to the big cities but as we are traveling and as a parts of Philippines I'm sure that that scene gonna change Manila is very developed city and lots of skyscrapers and business centers lots of shopping malls uh, Filipino people love shopping malls and uh, even from here you can already see a few of them I think I can see one of them one of the shopping malls is right here and uh, in the maps I could see a few more in the in the just surroundings area so you have a beautiful pool if you want to take a swim uh, it's actually quite long I don't know how deep this is but you can comfortably just have a dip and if you are a swimmer you can actually swim so maybe 20 30 meters uh, long you can do a few laps if you like and uh, most importantly just enjoy the views the skyscrapers and uh, beautiful city views so as i mentioned to 11 right now pm and my day is just getting started so we're gonna go do more explorations and i just noticed there's a drop of a rain in my finger so it might actually rain in a bit but uh, during this period of the year the weather is no is mostly dry so we might get some rain but still i'm gonna do my best to tra travel around and explore because that's the reason we are here we are gonna enjoy a few days in manila and uh, later on we're gonna move to different parts of philippines which i'm super excited to go experience and at the same time share my experiences with you guys so see you in a while
right now I am in very interesting part of uh, Manila. This is, I think, different neighborhood uh, than all the skyscrapers. You can still see them, but this is more where the locals live, I believe. And uh, I'm going to get a breakfast. It's actually 2 p.m. Right now it's 2.25 actually. But uh, I want to have breakfast because it's gonna be my first meal. And on top of that, there's a very famous food called Topsy Log. And Topsy Log is basically uh, considered as Filipino breakfast or Filipino people love it for breakfast. And uh, I wanna get that, but it's gonna be my lunch. But normally people eat it, I believe, during the whole day. So I found a place which should be somewhere around here. It's actually one minute, so 70 meters away. I think straight and then on the right side we will have the Tapsi Lok place and the name of the place is Doremi Tapsi so it should be somewhere on the right ah, this is actually school Makati High School that's why there are lots of students here hello and there's a little shop on the right side let's see if the Doremi Doremi Tapsi is here. Should be one of these corners, I believe. As you can see, people are living here. Hello. Doremi Tapsi? Yeah, it's here. Right it's a good place? Yeah. Good restaurant? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, confirmed by the neighbors, we are gonna have uh, some Tapsi Log. Doremi Tapsi. Somewhere here, maybe. Doremi Tapsi. Is this the place? Oh, indeed, this is the place. It's a local place. Let's go check it out. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you guys? I am here for Tapsi Log. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is it okay if I film for YouTube? Is it okay? No problem? Yeah? Perfect. Thank you so much. So there you have the we have the menu here. Doremi Tapsi, this is the name of the place. So they have the basic Tapsi log. But they also have the sausage version. So maybe I will go for long sea log. I think sausage is gonna be more enjoyable to eat and much easier than other ones. Long sea log. It's 80. This is their setup where they are cooking everything. Let's see if the gentleman, when he's gonna come. And uh, brother, I can have long si long, long si long si long. Yes, okay. One one for me, yeah. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you. <laughs> How was it? Salamat kuya. Thank you. Kuya means basically older brother and then younger brother you say ate. So salamat means thank you. And very interestingly in my language, salamat means be safe. So when someone is like going away or leaving the house, you say salamat, like be safe. Uh, I'm not sure how connected are the translation when it comes to salamat because salamat means thank you in the local language. So yeah. We're gonna say salamat kuya to the gentleman as a thank you. There's also hair salon here. They do haircut and foot spa, hair iron, everything you're looking for. But this is our spot. That's where we're gonna have our breakfast experience slash lunch for me. So I think this is the type of food you can actually have during the whole day. Meanwhile, you are sitting here. We have a uh, very nice views to the skyscrapers in a distance. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, it's my name, Davud. Davud. Davud Akunzada, my name. It's YouTube. I write it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Da Wood. This Davud Akunzada. Mm. You will find it easily. I can uh, open the Fanta, please. Thank you. 
Ah, it's here. Secret. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, spoon? Ah, here. Everything I got. Okay. Thank you. No, no, no problem. I take it. All right. We take our food and then we're gonna get the cutlery as well to eat, which is a self service here. You can get whatever you need. We get some cup here and then we're gonna have one spoon and a fork. That should be enough. So, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We got also some tissues here. So, Tapsilog is the name of the food, but it's the, I think, the one of the versions. Tapsi is actually gonna be with beef, but what I'm having right now is long si log, and it comes with the fried sausage, and that's this is how our food looks like. It has uh, three pieces, so fried egg in one side, we have some rice, and uh, I think this type of rice is normally fried with garlic. We're gonna test it out and see, or maybe this is just a plain rice. And we also have the two pieces of uh, sausage, which is just freshly fried for me. So we're gonna enjoy that. And uh, we also got a Fanta, but seems like in Philippines, Fanta name is replaced with Royal. Uh, this is my second Fanta in Philippines, and uh, the name of the drink is Royal. But they do have a Coca-Cola brand, but uh, this is probably a local Fanta here. So, this is how our food looks like, guys. Let's uh, give it a try. I'm gonna try the sausage just without anything, just to see how it tastes. Mmm! I actually like it because it has a little bit sweet taste into it as well which actually tastes great as well, I would Oops. we dropped our camera let's give it as a try and uh, yeah I was expecting more salty but it does have a sweet taste into it now I'm gonna try a little bit of an egg rice and then a sausage all together. It's gonna be a big bite, but we go for it. Mm. Very tasty. This is my favorite meal so far in Philippines. I tried something else yesterday, but this is great because how the sausage is sweet. Again, the, the food has lots of variations as you saw in the menu, so you can order anything, it just comes with the fried rice, some eggs and uh, next to it there is a meat. It can be pork, it can be maybe even chicken, I'm not sure, beef, sausage, so all of it. And the rice is, doesn't have any garlic taste, so it's very plain rice. Mm. Super tasty. It's so hot here. I'm sweating like crazy. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my meal, finish it, and then later on I'm gonna see you for the payment part. See you in a while. I'm slowly improving my local language skills and then I found the real name of the food, short version, means silog and silog is basically garlic fried rice plus fried egg and then whatever you add as a protein into it, it becomes that food. So if you want to do a tapa, which is beef, then it would be tap silog and then we added sausage and became long silog and uh, in the local language Longanisa is basically means sausage. Very interesting. So the name of the food, short version, is silog, but we had a long silog for 80 uh, Filipino pesos, and we had also a drink. So we're gonna pay for that and then proceed outside to go explore the city. That was great. Thank you. Perfect. Long silog, very good. 
How much, brother? You find my channel? Yeah, I yes? already follow you. Yeah, thank you so much. In YouTube? Yes, okay. very kind. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate okay. it. 98, sir. How much? 98. 98. Ah, okay. Thank you. There's a hundred. And then let me see what I... No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. There's a uh, there's 20 pesos here. Thank you. This is you? Yes, that's uh, that's my channel. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat kuya. Bye bye. Thank you guys. All right, we had our meal, guys, for uh, less than hundred. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. You're not going. What's no? your channel? It's my name, Davud. Davud Akunzada, you don't know not going to the school? Finish? Oh, our school is finished. Ah, finished. Now playtime. Yeah. Very nice. Nice it's to nice. meet you. What's your name? Ethan. 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 Davud. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. See you. you. Bye bye. You. See you. Bye bye. Nice Thank you. You too, guys. As you can see, people are super kind from uh, elderly to the kids on the street. Very kind. So, food was great for under 100. Uh, Filipino pesos, which makes uh, less than actually two dollars, and uh, one dollar is 55 pesos as of now. So it's approximately one dollar and 80 cents, I believe. So that was uh, the deal we got. If you want me to find you exact price to make sure we are in the correct terms, 100 basically makes. 179 so I was very correct 180 179 um, dollars all right now it's time to get a to different part and maybe we're gonna get a this uh, motorcycle ride Sala eh. hello hello how are you <laughs> Fine. brother I want to go to Ayala Triangle Gardens Ayala Triangle yeah take the or take the taxi uh, I can Price go with this. Ah, uh, this one don't go there. Ah, okay. Taxi. Okay, taxi. only, only taxi. Yeah. Okay. And where you can take me with this? Where we can go? We can go you to beach. Go. No, no, no. Uh, I want, I want to go with you. We can go beach. Beach. Yes. No. It's too no far. No, no. Uh, there is uh, to the po to the fort, fort area. Let me, let me see, in the maps. We can go to Manila Bay. Mm -hmm. Yes, possible. Yes. How much? A a yeah, 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 yeah. No, we can't go there. Ah, you cannot go there. O only Man here. We cannot go there. In Manila. Where you can go with this? Where you can go? Only here. Only here. Okay. I wanna go for a ride. You take me. Yeah. Okay. How much? No. <laughs> Just one turn and come back. <laughs> I want to experience it. Fifty is okay. <laughs> 50 or 100? How Where? much? Huh? Ayala Circuit. 50 is Ayala Circuit? Where are we going? We we'll just go? go around and then come back here. Huh? Uh, Population Ikon. Ah, Population Ikon. <laughs> How much? 100? Yeah. 100 is enough? Okay. Thank you. Salamat. Who is this? No, that's my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. He is alive or? Alive. Alive. You put his picture here? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> the, the friend is alive, but he has picture on the on this motorcycle <laughs> thing. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. We're going for a ride. This is how my views are looking like. You cannot see much in the front. You have to look around on the right side. So this is basically a carriage is uh, connected to the motorcycle and then it's just gonna take me around in the city. If I like some place, we're gonna get out, so it's all good. <laughs> this, is a, this is fun way to experience Manila. Go out to the main street here. Quite a beautiful view. Huh? 
Museo no Makati. Makati? Yes, Makati Museum. Ah, museum. Ah, okay, yeah. it's a museum. All right. Then, uh, on the right. It's the Makati Museum on the right side. Copper uh, card. Ah, okay. It's a court. Yeah. Ah, court. A basketball court. Ah, basketball court. Basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I thought it's a low court, but no, it's a basketball court. Right, we are trying to cross to the other side. So you cannot go inside the park. You cannot go in the main roads? You cannot go there to the main road. You want the side? Uh, no, no, we can go. We can go, yeah. How old are you? Me? Yes. 56. 56! Nice, nice, well done. About this. So finish? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Makati Peri. Makati? Peri. Peri. Peri boat. Ah, it's a ferry. Yeah. Ah, there's a ferry here. Okay. Okay, we can go and come back here. Yes. Yeah, go and come back here. Makati boats. You can go for a boat ride. I'm not sure. We're gonna see. I think another way would be nice to have a bike, like a bicycle, and then explore yourself. But this is also quite a cool way. So one dollar and eighty cents. The gentleman is taking me somewhere. I have no idea, but we're gonna go explore. Ah, there's a barber here. Nice. under the bridge right now and there's some artwork on the walls so I believe they cannot get into the main roads that's why they are following the mini roads probably it's not uh, allowed to get into the highways you are not uh, allowed to highway? No possible. No, we With this? No. It's only for the... Only taxi. Road. Okay, only small roads. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Brother, it's okay here. I go to church. Go to church. Yes. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat, Kuya. Thank you so Thank much. You. What's your name? Jun Fernando. Jun Fernando. Jun. Jun Fernando. Yes, David. 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 Nice to meet from, you. From Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Turkey. You know Turkey? Turkey? Yes. Yeah, I know. Next to Turkey, there is a small country. It's called Azerbaijan. Yes. Thank, nice to meet you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Salamat, bye -bye. Kuya. Salamat. Bye bye. We have a church here, which I just saw while we were passing by. I don't know if we can actually go in. There's a school service. I think this is a market here. And then the bye kids bye. are playing. Bye bye. I'm not sure if it's allowed. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Is there any rules? No camera or something like that? No, we just have to be probably just quiet and then check out the church. Christus Heri Hodia Semper. Such a beautiful church, guys. And uh, if you don't know much about Philippines, you have to know that majority of the people here are Christians, Catholic Christians. And uh, uh, there's uh, also a big influence from colonization during. Hi! <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> Happy kids are playing. <laughs> I'm filming you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> They're saying welcome to Philippines. Such a cool kid. So uh, from British and as well as from uh, Spain colonization, so there's a big influence uh, with the names, architecture and uh, language as well. So the local language is very close to Spanish as well. Uh, big influence. Uh, we have a Santa Claus on the balcony right there. We might just uh, go explore this area. This is actually where we actually started our video. We had our um, lunch slash breakfast here. We might just follow the road to next to Makati Museum, which was on the right side. Amazing, such a lovely experience so far and I think this video is gonna be already too long so we're gonna cut it here. Thank you so much for following and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. See you next time, thank you. All right guys, signing out for now from Philippines but subscribe for more videos from this beautiful country and more vlogs are coming from Manila and then afterwards from different parts of Philippines. Thank you so much for following until now.